Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Ross Automotive, 2009 Honda Odyssey. What we're going to do, front brake job. I staged this a little bit to make the video a lot quicker. All I want to show you, what most people will do. This is for you, for you guys at home. You get sucked into that, uh, that same thing. Uh, doing your brakes, you're doing them wrong, I can tell you. Uh, get over the statement, it is a fact. I see it too many times, way too many times. You're going to need, I will use a short 14 and a long 19. Like I said, I did stage that a little bit. Just had an effort to be able to go a little bit faster. Need to hold on to the nut in the back. Nineteen. If it's an original, if they're not original, odds are the sizes are going to vary. On the cross slide, that is on the on the slide pins. So step one, you know, everybody that does brakes, or seemingly everybody that does the brakes. I should have already had power tool in my hands. Just a second. Also should have had a hanger in my hand as well, but that got forgot, so. Brake hose, hoses on these things are uh, pretty short. So, just throw it in the floor, it'll work. It'll work for me. Um, there's really nothing, nothing wrong with these. Rephrase. These brake pads are still acceptable. Same with the inboard one. Starting off by kind of look at them. Uneven wear on these brake pads. Got a problem somewhere, folks. You got a problem. These are never supposed to wear uneven. Pins, when the pins hung up, when they're not properly lubricated, or whatever, whatever the case may be. You know, that's that's a big factor on that. That can cause uh, that definitely can cause uneven brake pad wear. So most people actually will take at this point in time and take their new brake pads and slap them on there and call it a day. Well, that's fine. If, if you're good with doing that, more power to you. That's not how we're going to do the brakes over here, especially not when the customer is paying me a book time that is assuming you're going to do it the proper way. Yes, there's going to be a lot of talking. Get over that too. I know I get the comments all the time, talk too much. Well, move on to another channel so in a nutshell what we're going to do here that nobody wants to seemingly nobody wants to do we'll investigate the pins to make sure they're lubricated properly these here are they slide really easy bottom and the top very easily nice and elastic lubrication on it We'll I'll take the hardware off, obviously. You know, look at the rust underneath that. Look at the rust. So, let's get this rust off of here, guys. Don't, don't be lazy. You know, uh, in a climate like ours, yes, I, I will admit. I 100% admit, climate like ours, it doesn't matter. You'll, odds are you'll never have problems. But what if? What if? I'm not going to show you how to... How to reassemble the, the reason I'm doing these brakes because these rollers here, uh, for one, they got hot spots and they warp when they get hot and they shake the whole freaking vehicle. Quite frankly, I'm tired of shaking. That's mine, by the way. I don't know if I said that or not. For 
one thing in the world that I can't stand, and that's when brakes start shaking and shuddering. This one here still got the screws in it. Sometimes people put them on, sometimes they don't. Do they have to be in there in reality? No, they do not. It makes it much easier to work on a brake though. So uh, I think I've had taken these off before and kind of cleaned them up a little bit. But uh, I knew that I was going to redo the brakes, so I didn't really bother, really bother cleaning. So if we look at the at the hub side of things, there's obviously flight rust on this. You can be lazy on that too. Let's go ahead and clean that up. As a matter of fact, here's what I'll do. Let me find this thing and pause. I realize some people ain't gonna say, well, you got the fancy tools and all that good stuff. You know, they use on this kind of stuff, but guess what? This is not a fancy tool. You can get one of them. You know, this will work. Takes a little while, you know, to make this, to make it clean, but it'll knock. Like I said, this just got flight rust on it. This is not that bad in the first place, but when you have really rust flakes on it, it will come off with a hand, uh, hand brush. You know, obviously, you're right, I do have the power tools, so no, I'm not going to sit here and do that with a hand brush when I can shave time, use the power tool, but the point is, you don't have to own fancy tools to, to do a brake job and do it the right way. And yes, I know, people go on the offensive when you're telling them they're doing something wrong. I had another comment just to say this. Uh, this guy was saying that well, because it's sparking, I'm removing material and, and ruining the hub. Whatever, dude. No, you do not. Not a sponsor. Use flute film. I can promise you, five years from now when that thing comes back off, that hub's gonna look just the way it does now. 2 sets of, uh, oh this is a coated rotor by the way, I use, uh, not a, again not a sponsor, but I'm going to tell you what these are. These are Ray Bestas coated rotors, I've had good experience with them uh, on another vehicle that I've had for some time, I had them on for some time, never had a problem. Just to say this, I bought uh, the whole set, Ray Bestas brake pads, and these are the Element 3 I think, what they're called, and I've got the brake pads to match them, so anyway. There's four holes, two of them are countersunk, two of them are not, these are jacking bolt holes. So if the rotor don't want to pop off because of rust, you can put your little jack screws on it, helps you get them off. Sorry about that, in front of the camera again. You don't have to go crazy tightening those. 
So, like I said, the same principle, use the wire brush or whatever you got handy, clean your caliper bracket. That's a must. This is a coated bracket, actually. So, you could think, yeah, I don't have to clean that. Yes, you do. Go ahead and clean it. Okay, put the hardware on. Now, somebody may say that you're kind of wasting your money a little bit by putting lubrication on a coated bracket. I'm not even going to argue with that. You know, there is, it, it's one of them things. I'm not going to argue with it. Do you really need it? I'm going to say, more than likely, you don't. I mean, it's the, it's kind of one of them things, it's like, when you have a coated rotor, the rotor is protected on the hub, but the hub is not protected. Well, there's still rust that can build up underneath, as you've seen. So, you're not, you're not hurt by putting a little bit of lube on there. Uh, put it underneath the hardware, never ever on the hardware. And this is fully assembled now. And of course I haven't uh, pushed the pistons in yet. Get you zoomed back out there. No need in it being zoomed in like that. Make sure that your calipers push in nice and easy. That is very important. Hopefully that will lay right there. These are coated as well. They have a backing pad. That's a non non corrosion pad. Basically, I don't know if that's a word, it is now. The surface on the back side is actually really clean. Really clean and smooth, I should say. Put a little bit of lube on the faces of the piston back side of the caliper. Put a little bit of your caliper grease on that. Again, if you so choose, everything on these things is coated, so... In the way again, I know. I got a ton of brake videos there, guys. I realize that, but you know, this video more or less is is really uh, for those people that get lazy when they're doing brakes, or just simply don't know any better. You know, or they wondering why. Maybe it's somebody that has seen somebody else just flip a. Uh, flip a caliper up, slip some brake pads on and fold it back down, buckle it back up. Took him five minutes to do, you know, maybe somebody is just wondering, why does a shop, this shop uh, charge so much to do my brakes? Ideally, gets torqued up. I haven't done any of that yet. And I gave you all something to talk about, so click, click. Click, click. Yep, that's right.
Note your size of the your bolt size. These here, no one here is big. Don't do long ratchet like I got and then yank on it. Bad idea. So realistically, this is a proper assembly when it comes to brakes. That is a good brake service. Uh, don't get any better. I stop saying something won't do something else. That's, I'm not saying that at all. But at the end of the day, it is a proper brake service. We lubricated our back. We didn't need to do the rotor in this case. A lot of times I spray a little bit on the rotor as well, that being said. Uh, we didn't do this in this case because these are coated. So we don't have to do that. Lubricate the back of the caliper, the piston faces. If it's coated like this one, it's up to you. New hardware all the time. Lubricate underneath the underneath the hardware, no place else. So there you go, guys. That's how it should be done. Comments, questions, know where to put them. Like, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.